lesson for the boatman's dance um, my video I have it played on the fretless banjo this one I'm gonna play on the fretted one just for the sake of demonstration um, ease of you know demonstration basically I can go fifth fret and be here fourth fret and be here etc so as you just saw I played um, sort of the first part of the song uh, you start on the fifth fret um, Fourth fret, back to the fifth fret, open, this is all on the uh, the top string here, uh, and then, so open, and then you want to do drop thumb. And then D7 chord uh, on the um, third string. D7 chord, third string. Open, same string. Go through that one more time. I'm gonna show you my left hand. And then I'll go to this. And the next part, very easy, C chord, uh, C chord open, C chord open. So, and then what I like doing, and I recently started doing this, you can do it better on the non, on the, on the fretted banjo, I think it sounds better, but. Um, but that's a different part of the song entirely, so. I'm just gonna do it um, just standard clawhammer style for this. You, you would know what my right hand would look like. So, um, but the the leading note here is gonna be on the uh, the fifth string. So, but it's gonna be with the C chord. So, so or. dance the boatmen sing the boatmen do most anything so you want to go drop thumb just like the first part of the song the ending of the first part so so if you want to do the fanning i'll go through it really slow and then you want to come up on the c chord so Boatmen dance, boatmen sing, and then for right before the um, drop thumb part, you want to go. So I'll, I'll go through it one more time. Boatmen dance, boatmen sing, boatmen do most anything. So that's the second part of the song. Third part. This is going to be the most challenging, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of shuffling here. But um, starting the third string, uh, this is going to be a lot of drop thumb. So so you want to go open and hit the uh, second fret on the third string, um, but you want to drop them up to the fourth string. So. start so you go um, and this is the hardest part I think you go 
on the fourth string and then drop them down to the third and then you go on the third string and drop them up to the fourth so we want to have the second finger on that on that third string so and then here you're on the fourth string so you can do a hammer on or you can just entirely not do the hammer on and just do whatever so and here I don't even do the, the climb rhythm so I'll just go through it slowly and, and just show you what I do. It's the same part, the same ending as the first and second part of the song, so I'll show you my left hand. Yeah, I hope this this helps you learn the song. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll just go. Through, I'll do. A, I'll do a slow pl play through on my left hand. I think Th that might be the easiest. <laughs> to drop thumb in my version you can always just not do the drop thumb uh